What's going on, YouTube world? It's Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Al, recording from Paradise. And uh, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, the uh, my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. Please. 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 We're trying to get them likes up. We're trying to get them, um, them, su them, 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 um, Subscriptions going. I'm trying to get to monetization one day in my life. In my life. Okay, so today is going to be a Barbie day. Short video. And everything, as you see, you see the fungi. He says, um, I'm not with the fungi. And I'm not with either, so don't start with me. All right, so today we're going to be talking about this beautiful Barbie right here. Oh, she's so beautiful. Her right here. And, um, you know, now I've grown to like posable Barbies now. And um, I think she's everything. Gives me Lindsay Lohan a little bit. Kind of, sort of. Oh, right. And then last but not least, again, I said I'm going to mix some oldies with some goodies. So I picked this up at the flea market a while back. And um, this Barbie Old Fashionista, I think she's from um, 2016. So we're going to definitely talk about her. There's a lot of fashionistas I don't know about, but I am ready, 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 ready. All right. So, first and foremost, we're going to be talking about this little lady here. And um, I'm going to give her a name. Let's call her, uh, let's call her uh, Ginger. Ginger, because I do love ginger root, my, my raw honey and tea and lemons. So, Ginger, she got that Ginger on Gilligan Island's look a little bit. Could say Ice Spice, but that's already copyrighted. How could she? Uh, uh, how could she be uh, defeated? Cause she's already chosen. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this girl right here is, you know, trying to work out. Um, she comes with some good accessories, so we're gonna see. She comes with a dog, some dumbbells, some skates, and some punch, uh, boxing gloves, and a tennis racket. Okay. So Miss Girl here. Uh, Miss Ginger. Uh, let's see. Um, all right. Yeah, this doll's perfect, and I'm I have a weakness for the um, definitely for the posable Barbies now. And um, ooh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay, so she comes with like a little cute little handbag. I'll show the doll last but not least because she's the tree. And um, looks like a gym bag. And uh, let's see, she comes with one dumbbell. So this girl's ready to work out. Let's hear it for the girl. She's ready to work out. <laughs> Maybe she's no Juliet, but she's my one in Juliet show. <laughs> All right, so she comes with like a water bottle. And I'm so proud that Barbie has really invested the time into having accessories. Some people will think accessories for Barbies is kind of like, blah, it's too much. But it's really not when you think about it. Okay, okay. Got one more dumbbell. And these are workout dumbbells as well, too. Then she comes with skates. But I don't even think these skates roll. But that's okay. It's all the illusion. So, if you wanted to, you could always rip the bottom part and make it to an actual boot. That's hot. Okay. So, um, I'm going to show the other skate as well, too. Even though, you know, same thing. So she does come with a dog, and this, these are the kind of animals I like that Barbie has. I, I know in my other videos for Barbies, I like having the Barbie extras. I don't like them animals with them little. I like these animals right here. I think they're so adorable. Look, it just looks so sad. Just looks so puppy sad. <laughs> okay. So, let's talk about Miss Ginger. I wonder if I should name her Ginger. Maybe I should call her, uh, call her, uh, Uh, let's call her Mary. I don't know. Yeah, Mary. 
So with Miss Mary, Miss Mary comes with a leash for her dog. That's the leash for the dog right here. But well, before I put him on, let me show her because she's beautiful. Okay, so looks like um, well, I didn't mean to drop that on the floor. I got picked that up. So she's very poseable. She's just ready for a good workout. Look at her. This girl's beautiful. Her hair is like just just beautiful oh my god she comes with a tank top and some bike biker shorts she comes with some tennis shoes now if you wanted her to have skates on that's what these shoes are for right here but what's disappointing is the skates don't roll that's what's disappointing but other than that this girl is beautiful like her body type is a little different too from all the other dolls. Well, the other um can I use one for example? Uh, it's irrelevant. I shouldn't use one for example. It's not that serious. So, um, cause she's a beauty of her own. So I can't think if her hair is red or if it's auburn. Looks like um you know what? I'm gonna name her Vanessa. Let's call her Nessa. She looks like a Vanessa, don't, don't she? Like on a sitcom or something. Vanessa. So the Vanessa show. So, going back, what I love about her is that um, she, of course, she doesn't skate. The skates don't skate, so don't get your hopes up high. But I think the doll is still worth buying. Believe me, she is. Now, she's got flat feet. Now, it seems like Barbie is moving away from heels on some of their dolls. Some of the fashionistas do have uh, flat feet and pointy feet for heels, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't know what face scope this is. Uh, this, her face scope could be Teresa's. So I'm not really familiar with all Barbie's face scopes. But with that being said, she was at uh, Target for $16.99. And I thought that was a good deal for her. She's worth every penny. And uh, she has this uh, leash for her dog right here as well. So, let's see, Miss Vanessa. Yeah, she likes the Vanessa. I'm going to keep Vanessa. I said Ginger. Then I said, because um, I don't think her hair, I don't know if her hair is red or not. I'm not for sure. Now, it would have been nice for Miss Vanessa to come with an outfit. Now, my only disappointment with this leash right here is that this leash, the illusion of it is supposed to be like a leash that she can run around. But with Vanessa being tall, it doesn't make sense to have this leash around her. Or maybe you can loosen the leash a little bit, off the belt a little bit. But it's still kind of, you know what? That's what it looks like. So, but other than that, I would love for her to have another outfit, like I said before, or another pair of pants, another pair of shoes, something that caliber, because I just think this, this doll deserves another outfit. But she is worth buying. Go out here and buy her. I think you should. So, and, um, you know, I would say she's, uh, I would have loved for her hair to be more red. Instead, I think it's this red Auburn. I don't know, but it's okay. But her scalp looks pretty thick, so it looks like she doesn't have thin hair at all. Because people know I'm not a fan of the thin hair dolls, but that's all right. Just being open and honest about that and transparent. So, if you want her to work out, Miss Mama her grill work out, but this dog is gonna have to get off the leash because this dog is holding her from doing her workout. But we're gonna still let her hang on to the dog. I am a working girl. I ain't got no time for love. <laughs> I always sing a little snippet song. I think I heard I played that on one of my reels a while back. So you know, you gotta you gotta make it a illusion of basically um working her out and so the dumbbells don't fall. But I like this doll. I give her a ten out of ten. She's a perfect doll. She's the perfect Barbie. So, as you can see, Miss Vanessa, everybody. Say bye, Vanessa. Take your dog with you. All right. So, last but not least, we're going to be talking about um, 
a black from the past, and I'm excited about. This is Barbie Fashionista 50. And you know, this is, this is when Barbie, um, You Can Be Anything, came out. And this is all the selection. This is a beautiful selection of dolls. I think the only one I have was her. I don't have none of these people, none of these on here. And I would love to find most of them because these Fashionista dolls, head sculpts are wonderful. So, she was $8.99 at the flea market, and I thought together, and I'm happy I did purchase her. Okay. So, she's a, a, a thick girl. Very uh, full figure proportion. All right. Alright, so let's see what this girl's working with. Shake your face. Watch yourself. Shake your face. Alright. So, with her, she has braid, a molded braids on the side of her head. And this is still a good hairstyle. But here's my thing. I would rather... They didn't have to do the braids on the side. I know it's a style that normally happens for a lot of um, people with that hairstyle. They could have just had it like at least slick down on the side. I was fine with that. But the braids, if you're going to do braids, it should have been real hair. Like twisted to the side or braid to the side. That's just my thing. But I get it. You know, you got to do what you got to do. So she does have a full size scalp. This head scope is perfect. I do like the dress, and I'm gonna give. I'm gonna name her. Uh, I'm gonna name her um, Shonda. Lashonda. She looks like Lashonda to me. Lashonda, just Lashonda. And um, what I do like is that um, she stands out from all the other dolls that I have over there. So. That's the most fascinating part. But I was just disappointed with that side of that scope. But if she, you know, it is what it is. Then they made her hair blonde. So the blonde does bring out her skin tone, that beautiful melanin skin tone. Look at her eyes. Her eyes are beautiful. She doesn't look like, that face scope doesn't look exactly like other face scopes. But I think it's Christy, if I'm not mistaken. Christy's face scope, possibly. Um, that honey blonde hair is everything. Everything, what I mean, everything, everything. The dress was really pretty. I did not like the shoes. The shoes could have been more, I guess that's the close thing to high heels they're going to have for the dolls with flat feet. But it's okay. It's okay. So, um, you know, um, this doll's pretty old. So, you know, her being a box for all this time. Yeah, their hair is tangled up and everything. So, not really, but her skin tone is amazing. It's very amazing. It's just beautiful, like breathtaking brown brownie, baby. This brown brownie. Say it with me, brown brownie. And um, what else can I say about this young lady? I would, I kind of wish that the Bar Barbie fashionistas came with, like, well, no, they can't come with accessories because they only cost... Probably back then, they were probably about six bucks, seven bucks in 2016, you know. With the COVID happening, all the prices went up. Because I remember buying the other fashion used to have on a wall for like seven ninety nine, But now they're like almost 11 bucks or 12 So you get what you paid for, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, Miss LaShonda here, I give her... I give her a 10 out of 10. She's a blast from the past. A 2016 fashionista dolls, and I do like her. So... Definitely, if y'all want to go online, I think she's a little expensive online. So I was, if I see something an oldie, like I said, the flea market, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna definitely get it. Oops, she ain't a working girl today. So just talking today. So please, uh, Pamper Gang and YouTube World, YouTube World and Pamper Gang in that order. Who well, have dare me call other people Pamper Gang? <laughs> please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pamper Little Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. And also follow my Instagram account. 
at the boy with the parents and the toys. It's spelled just like my YouTube channel. Please support, support, support the cause. And um, definitely, um, I always upload frequently when I can. But definitely, everyone have a great day. And please be safe out there. It's windy, 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 windy in the city. Everywhere, not just in my city. Bye, everybody. <laughs>